When Google launched the Android 15 QPR2 update, they removed its basic Do Not Disturb toggle and replaced it with a customizable modes feature. And while it is really nice to be able to create unique modes that fit into my personal lifestyle, it also removed the quick settings toggle for Do Not Disturb. Thankfully though, there is a free and open source application out there that will allow you to add a dedicated Do Not Disturb toggle back into the quick settings panel. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate it when Google finally decides to upgrade a feature like this and then allows it to be customized so that it works exactly how I need it to. But then they went and broke a popular feature that many of us had built up years of muscle memory around. And they actually have a history of doing this with the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi quick settings tiles going through the same process where you tap on it to go into a menu and then from there, you can toggle it on or off. There are so many people out there who like the ability to pull down the quick settings panel and then toggle do not disturb mode with a single tap. With this new way, it's actually requiring two taps just to toggle it on. And then it will require two additional taps just to toggle it off. But if you want your toggle back into the quick settings panel, you first need to install this application. It's called Android D&D Toggle, and it's from a developer known as Grishka. I'll be sure to include this link down in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment here, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you go to this page, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then tap on that releases link, and then download the latest release being sure to grab the APK file. And with that file downloaded, go ahead and sideload it onto your device so that it is installed and ready to use. But if anyone needs help on how to sideload APK files on Android, then let me know and I'll be sure to help. Once the app has been installed, go ahead and open it up and you're gonna be asked to grant a permission to manage your notification policy. So it makes sense that the app needs to be able to manage that if you want it to toggle do not disturb mode, which affects your notifications. Once that permission has been granted, you can then tap another button to add the tile to your quick settings panel. Then you're gonna to want to expand the quick settings panel and tap on the edit icon so that you can change which tiles are available and you're going to want to look for the Do Not Disturb toggle. This tile is going to be in the inactive section first, so you're going to want to tap it and drag it into the active section. Then wherever you drop it, you will see that appear in your quick settings panel. So now, just like you would expect, we can toggle this feature off or we can toggle Do Not Disturb on each time it just takes a single tap. And that really is all there is to it. Once that tile has been added, you now have access to quickly toggle do not disturb mode on and off. And I get it. Adding an extra tap onto the toggle isn't the worst thing in the world, especially when you consider the feature was updated to allow for so much more functionality. But again, most of us use our smartphones for multiple hours each day. And this means that we get really, really used to the patterns and habits that we form in our daily lives. Changing something like this is not ideal, but Android is a great platform to allow developers the ability to create the experience they want. And that's exactly what Grishka did here. So be sure to send them a message if you appreciate the work they have done here. There's actually a link to their Mastodon account in the readme for that project on GitHub. So be sure to stop by and say hi. Now, I want to hear from all of you down in the comments section below, even if it's just to say hi as well. 
but I would be curious to learn how many of you also use the do not disturb mode toggle and would rather not see Google changing things up like this. And please, do not forget to give this video a like as it really helps to keep me motivated here and subscribe to the channel as well for more Android tips like this.